All right, welcome back, YouTube. Um, so I've been taking a second to think about it. Ever since I uploaded the first two videos, they've only gotten a couple views each, and I figure that probably has a lot to do with the fact that they're, they've both been over 40 minutes. One was actually over 50. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do is, other than obviously this intro right here, I'm probably not going to intro the videos very much, and I'm probably not going to outro them either. I'm probably just going to end up cutting them on and off i'll still you know talk during the video it's just since these aren't getting very many views i need to try and cut down the the uh video length as much as possible so i'm definitely going to shoot for 35 minutes and below i don't, I don't want to go too far over 35 minutes you know maybe if if i can't get it too far under 35 minutes that's fine but i think i i just don't want to upload very long videos just because I feel like they're not going to get that many views so let's just get right back into it I'm going to try and just show stuff based solely around the story stuff that adds to it and It'll pertains nice to, see some to friendly it. faces this time the Nexus runs a support crew just enough to finish building the station and provide safe harbor for the arcs means we can start waking our people up they built a bar right gotta have champagne for the welcome party you're expecting one after what we've been through, I could use a buzz. We all could. Yeah. Rough ride so far. We'll bounce back. Real food and a shower are just ahead. Here we are. Uh, I don't see any champagne. Where is everybody? All right, that's kind of weird. Well, this can't be right. It's like everything's on standby. If it's a surprise party, they're doing the war fleet a job of it. Welcome to the Nexus, gateway to Andromeda. I'm Avina, a virtual intelligence designed to assist you with immigration. Uh, can you tell us where the welcome party is hiding? I'm sorry, my code is limited to information and simple interaction simulation. Please select from the following pre-programmed responses. What is the Nexus? The Nexus serves as the central hub for the Andromeda Initiative's colonization efforts. Please enjoy the many venues the Nexus has to offer. As the station expands, it will one day... Not from the looks of it. Okay, I think I'll just end up logging off That's of all. it. It has been my pleasure. Please see one of our helpful immigration staff for further assistance. And welcome to your new home in Andromeda, where the brightest star is you. Wow, thank Current you. Current wait time for immigration processing is unknown error. Right. That was helpful. Uh, okay. So what do we Oh, okay, I see the little plants are still alive. Wow, okay, so I can't scan any of that. Didn't Weird. Finish building it. Okay, so I see the little scan thing going off at the top. Hello? <laughs> yeah. This place should be packed with people. Well, what the hell? Is he dead? No, he's moving. Hi there. We're from Arc Hyperion, and wondering where everybody went. Did he hear you? Did you say an Arc? Yeah, we just got in. And for what it's worth, your VI over there could use an update. But we thought you were all dead. What? Or captured, or lost in dark space, or... But you're here. You have no idea how much this means. What the hell? I don't believe it. Yeah. I'm Tyrion Kandros. I lead our militia on the Nexus. I'm Ryder. This is Cora Harper and Liam Costa, part of the Pathfinder team. I'm sorry for the confusion. Our sensors told us an arc had arrived, but Helios is notorious for scrambling equipment. Oh. We thought you were just another malfunction. Well, I've got a shipload of people that says we're here. Of course, it's just, you're the first arc we've seen. 
After a year of waiting and no sign of the others, we shuttered this area and stopped looking. You've been stranded for a whole year? Longer. I'll fill you in on the way to Op Center. What? Everything that could go wrong with our plan has. We arrived 14 months ago. Right away, we hit a band of dark energy that knocked us off course. We're familiar with it. Then you'll know why we call it the Scourge. We lost whole sections of the station. A lot of people died. No power, no food. The chaos went on for months. It finally led to armed rebellion. When order was restored, the insurgents were banished. Exiles, we call them. Are things back to normal? Not even close. But you're here now, so maybe the worst is over. I didn't want to start no that. No word from the other done. Pathfinders? Here we go. No word from anyone, period. Any threats from the locals? So far, we've stayed hidden. We're in no shape to deal with an attack. We had a first contact <laughs> situation Imploding. on Habitat 7. Whole thing went south. They tried to kill us. That wasn't first contact. We know about them. Those aliens are going to be a real problem. This day just keeps getting better. We're here. You guys go ahead. I'll check out the security situation. You should know our command structure has been fractured. Some of us are filling in for leaders who died. Is it true? They said drop everything and report for duty. And no one was expecting an ARC to finally show up. Docking procedures are green across the board. Stand by to merge Hyperion power into the grid. The crew of the Hyperion. Good luck. I'm Jaren Tan, director of the initiative. You have no idea how much your arrival means to us. We've heard about what happened, and we're ready to help. We could use any supplies you have. Food, water, we're short on everything. This is Foster Addison. She oversees colonial affairs. Where's the Pathfinder? You're looking at him. You're not Alec Ryder. My father's dead. He made me his successor. Alec is dead. Please understand, the entire initiative is at risk. None of the Golden Worlds panned out. They're a bust, and there's been no word from the other arcs. What happened to them? Unknown. Our supplies are nearly depleted. Rationing bought us some time, but even that's running out. We need to find more resources. But that takes people, and we can't wake them up. Until they have somewhere to live. A golden world. Now more than ever, we need a Pathfinder. It now falls to you, Ryder. Are you up to the task? I may not have been the first choice. But I'm ready for this. Youthful enthusiasm will only get you so far in Andromeda. That's no way to treat a guest. Yo, what? Why does he sound like that? I'm Nak Morkesh, superintendent of this station. I hope they haven't scared you off already. They normally have deep it's voices, personal, right? But now isn't the time for on-the-job training. At least the Pathfinder here seems willing to try. We could use a fresh perspective. You've heard my concerns. I'll leave you to it. We're all feeling the pressure. Let's have a private word in my office, Ryder. We'll discuss giving you a scout ship. I'm happy to work out the details with your associate. Welcome to the Nexus. Thank you for standing up for me there. Mm, hopes in short supply here. What little we can find should have a chance. Ma'am, the Hyperion's core is now online. Let me show you something. Okay, so it's a woman, that's why. I kind of figured, but still. An hour ago, that was all dark. But with the power from your ship, you're keeping the lights on. You have my vote. And when the power runs out? You'd best go talk to Director Tan. Make sure that doesn't happen. And don't be shy. Come see me when you have a chance. Uh, 
I know that look. The others bent your ear, did they? Something like that? You get used to it. Just focus on being a Pathfinder. Can't argue with results, though they'll try. Anyway, welcome to Militia HQ. Excuse the mess. This office fields militia work, Nexus security, and looking for the Turian Ark. What's the word on the Turian Ark? Scattered readings. Some indicate the Natanus was destroyed, others that people are alive. Who knows? If you need anything, come see me, even if it's just a vent. It's rough out there. I might need backup, if you can spare the people. I have strike teams specializing in assault and extraction. If you need serious firepower, my Apex teams have you covered. But that isn't news to you, right? My team ran into some not-so-friendly locals on the way here. Bony crests, advanced tech, merciless sons of bitches. They're called the Cat. We've sighted them on several worlds already. I've seen how dangerous they are firsthand. They could take the Nexus apart. Someday Addison will believe me. What do you know about the enemies we've encountered? The Cat. We usually see them on worlds with those alien structures. The Cat don't take kindly to anyone studying them. Not sure why. They don't talk to us. Every time we cross paths, there's a fight or they take prisoners. Why? What do they want? No one knows. But I've seen their weaponry and what they do to those prisoners. I want them a long, long way from the Nexus. Bye, Kandros. Duty calls. You and me both, Pathfinder. Pathfinder. No time for our beer yet. This place is a mess. Security is it. Let's call it strained. I can believe it. The Nexus is running on empty. Not just that. A lot of the Exiles were security. Everyone was trained and armed for Frontier. We know Cat are dangerous, and now we have to worry about our people too. No idea where they went, but they left mad. They were frustrated. If they just wanted to kill, they could have fought to the last here. Apparently we're the big hope for everyone. Not the Hyperion showing. Just us. I'm with you. It's just... a lot. As long as the Nexus is here, as long as we're here, we have a job to do. Double down crisis mode. I can do that. We can do that. Ready and willing, Pathfinder. This is the planet where we landed. Habitat 7. It wasn't even close to livable. That's been true of every world we found. Ryder, we were discussing your next expedition. Good. I was starting to wonder who was in charge around here. Director Addison is entitled to her opinion, and mine overrules hers. Does she know that? I oversee the entire initiative, and I have decided to give you a chance to prove yourself. To that end, the score is dealt as a serious blow. Whatever it is, our scientists theorize it's not natural. An artificial energy cloud? It wasn't here when we left the Milky Way, yet it rendered all the Golden Worlds unlivable. Then there's the aliens you ran into, the Ket. They're obsessed with alien structures we found scattered around the cluster. They'll do anything to prevent others from accessing them. It seems murder isn't exclusive to the Milky Way. And now the challenge is to settle a world in spite of all that. This one here, Eos. How? Oh. You need to increase the viability of the planet so we can establish an outpost. Then we can bring more colonists out of stasis. The more colonists we have, the more resources we can gather to support the Nexus. Everything depends on it. There are six worlds we hope to settle. Okay, but you said every planet you found is unlivable. So how do I... A good Pathfinder would relish the challenge of solving it. Right. I think I should go check on things. And if I fail, I guess it's no sweat off your back, right? You'll just look for another Pathfinder? Placing bets on people is part of my job. Some of them pay off. Others... The way I see it, you need me. If I pull this off, maybe you'll look like the leader you pretend to be. But first, you have to succeed at being the Pathfinder you pretend to be. Oh! That's kinda messed up! Where's my ship? They're prepping it now in the docking bay. The coordinates for EOS will be in the computer. And when you have a moment, we should discuss the missing arcs. I was wondering about that. Ah. Something wrong? 
Ryder, please see me and Sam Nude on the Hyperion. Your implant needs attention, and we need to discuss a confidential matter. No, I'm fine. Oh, that was weird. I'm gonna go ahead and track that one. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, let's go on ahead and do that really quick. Oh, it's down further. Oh. You good? Hey, you okay? I'm fine. My arms got the brunt of it. Stuff exploding like this happen often? Back right after the mutiny, we had a lot of this happening. But not lately. I wasn't there during the mutiny. Lucky. I thought we were done with this, honestly. That maybe I was just being paranoid. You know what they say. It's not paranoia. If someone is out to get to you, yeah. Third time this week. It's getting worse. First one was small stuff. This one could have hurt bad if I'd been closer. That's not good. Sorry, understatement. Yeah. And now I have more repairs. Did you talk to security about this? How can I? For all I know, someone in security is the one doing this. I've scanned all the potential sabotage areas I can think of. But I don't know who to trust anymore. Sounds like a lot went down before the Hyperion docked. Yeah, I guess. Wait. That's it. You can't possibly be involved in this. You weren't even here during the mutiny. Yeah. Would you, if, if you have time? Maybe you could help me. If they start hitting critical systems. Sure thing. What can I do? If you could scan these other panels while I fix this one, that would really help. I've sent the locations to your Omni tool. Just send me the data when you're done. Alrighty. Find out why. Be careful. Leo, remember when I said I was going to take a look inside? That's fine and all, but I think I'm gonna go on ahead and speak to Sam really quick. Oh, hello. Hey there. You okay? Those guys really grilled you. And Addison. First Pathfinder they've seen in over a year. All she can do is question your competence? Yeah. Meeting Addison was... interesting. She doesn't know you. I do. And you're doing fine. I appreciate it. I worked out logistics with Director Tan. They're giving us a ship and crew. He said their vest is taking care of it. I still need to head back to the Ark and check in with Sam. Sounds good. While you're there, maybe see how your sister's doing. Hello, Ryder. Welcome back to Sam Node. I've adjusted my connection to your implant. The headache you experienced before shouldn't reoccur. Yeah, what was that about? You said we need to discuss something confidential. You should know certain facts before you leave on your expedition. It seemed best we speak alone. I don't understand the need for secrecy. Your father felt it was for the best. What was he trying to hide? My true capabilities. Alec overrode the implant safety protocols. It allows me unrestricted access to the Pathfinder's physiology. And that's... me, now. And only you. I can act as a force multiplier, dramatically enhancing your motor and neural skills when required. Alec called them profiles. They provide unique tactical augmentation during combat. Your father preferred to keep this fact to himself. I can understand. People might get the wrong idea. Super soldiers. A computer having control over a human. Providing an enhancement to the human. It is a symbiotic relationship that benefits both. What do you get out of it? Though I'm artificial in design, I am fully sentient. Far beyond what even the initiative understands. I don't follow. You're an AI. So what's different? I am a new form of AI, drawing directly from the human experience. Your implant is my window into the world. That's... pretty amazing. But beyond what many people will accept, your father knew some would fear it. Yeah, he's got a point. So what does this mean for the two of us? I find myself in an unusual position. Though I had access to your father's experiences, there is a gap in my understanding. How so? He placed a block on portions of my memory array. Why? Perhaps so when you asked me what his plan was, I wouldn't know. 
and Dad strikes again. But not without recourse. The further you explore as a Pathfinder, the more blocks will be removed. Perhaps you should begin in your father's quarters. In the meantime, unless you have more questions, your new ship awaits. Thanks. Oh, here we go. Pathfinder, Captain Dunn said to seal your father's cabin from anyone but you. It's open. Printed books. Reproductions of Lewis and Clark's journals, detailing their expedition in the 19th century. Explains Dad's interest. They were Pathfinders, too. Your father's first sidearm, a memento of his early Alliance service. I bet that saw plenty of action. Halleck's first kill occurred in combat during the First Contact War. Back when Turians were the enemy. Crazy times. coffee machine mom got for dad he was so busy designing you needed the caffeine I did not realize I owed my existence to a bean and now you know what humility feels like <laughs> that's funny Sam what was that an eidetic trigger related to your father and the portions of my memory array he locked what triggered it Alec tied it to your progression as Pathfinder, not to a location. Puzzling as it may be, my programming is clear. Locating more of these triggers will unlock the memories. One of your father's memories is now accessible. Return to Samnode on the Hyperion to investigate further. What's on here, Sam? Your father's personal logs. Several of them are encrypted. That log is not currently accessible. Unlocking my memory array may enable it. Ryder, the blocks your father placed on my array are opening. I can now recall specific memories which Alec wanted you to see. Wait, I can actually see his memories? Yes, you will experience them via your implant. Okay, something new every day. Let's see it. This memory is from the time when your father was posted on the Citadel. Alec, your recommendations will never fly. Artificial intelligence? It's our best option. If the Council gets wind of this, it'll set humanity standing back decades. You're overreaching. Ambassador Goyle, I'm the military attaché on the Citadel. My mandate is clear. Find an edge for Earth. An AI is your answer? We need to catch up. The Asari, the Salarians, they're centuries ahead of us. But it's illegal. Their rules, not ours. Why deny Earth an advantage? Define this advantage. It will set us free. We're prisoners of our own five senses. There's a reality greater than ours that we can't perceive, but an AI can. How? By augmenting our own abilities and adding a few new ones. Well, none of that stopped those Geth from revolting. Because they were separate from their creators. But AIs and humans interface directly, experiencing the world together benefits both. There's no creator to revolt against. I'm sorry, Alec. We can't take the risk. I appreciate your work, but your request will be denied. <sighs> Alec? Helen, what did the doctor say? He told me to appreciate the time I have left. There's no cure, Alec. It's terminal. Not on my watch. Wow. Hearing Mom again. I never knew that's how Dad found out. Alec was a stubborn man. It's how Dad was wired. He didn't like to lose, in any situation. It would seem that included me. Nobody wanted to listen. 
The idea of you scared people too much. After this, Dad moved us back to Earth to care for Mom. Wonder why he wanted me to see this. Perhaps it was the beginning. Of what? Unknown. Private audio logs are now available in your father's quarters. I detect additional memories, but they are currently locked. They may yet hold answers. Okay, I'll keep working on it. Do you know anything more about Sarah's condition? I monitor Dr. Carlisle's reports. He is providing her with the very best care possible. I'm afraid there is nothing more to be done at this time. That's all for now. Of course. Ready to see what Tan gave us? I hear it's something special. Pathfinder en route. How's the ship? In final checks, I'm looking great. We won't be long. The way things are going, we'll be on our own out there. In other words, we're making this up as we go. <laughs> we used to call that tactical improvisation. But at least we'll be doing it in style. They call her the Tempest. Let's go take a closer look. Let's pick it up a bit, people. We're 14 months late. So you're the one who's making everything happen. Vetra. Vetra Nix. Initiative Wrangler, Provisioner, Gunner, and everything in between. Are we ready? The sooner we get out of here, the better. You're coming with us? Yes. Otherwise, there's no way they're letting this ship off the station. What's the rush? Just don't want to waste any more time. Hold it, hold it! You're not going anywhere. Damn it. Is something wrong? Director Addison wants to see a complete report of the Tempest's supplies, munitions, and crew. Director Tan overruled Addison. The ship's loaded out with equipment for outpost discovery, squarely under Director Addison's purview. Seen you around. Ben, right? Came here with the family, didn't you? Son still in cryo? I could pull some strings, get him to the front of the line. Really? Yeah, really. They told me he wasn't essential, but I miss him. I know. I got family too, Ben. It's done. <sighs> Addison's gonna kill me. Thank goodness. For a sec, I thought I was gonna have to deal with Addison again. <laughs> and no one wants that. All things considered, it was an easy ask. And right now, you need people tearing down obstacles, not putting up more. Finally, someone who cares about doing stuff and not just talking about it. Everything's state-of-the-art. Labs, sensors, exploration gear. Plus her crew, of course. The best in their field. Ah, glad to see you looking well. The engine core is based on the Ark's Odyssey drive. It runs a hell of a lot quieter. That's Gil Brody. Engineer, mechanic, all-around wrench jockey. We call this the research room. There's space for upgrading equipment, gathering intel. Router engaged. Securing connection to Tempest. Welcome aboard, Sam. And Ryder, of course. All run by Suvi Anwar, our science officer. Your quarters are below. Plenty of space up here to get everyone together. It's all yours. She's light, stealthy, and the fastest ship in her class. 
It's really going to be something, isn't it? I haven't even shown you the best part. When you're ready to fly, head over to the bridge. Our pilot should have everything good to go.